Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine y when we have two direct variations. Um, so when we have two direct variations, what we can do is set up a proportion. Have one ratio of my y varies uh, with x equal to the other uh, ratio of y varies with x. So I can have y varies with x is equal to y varies with x. Then all I simply do is plug in the information that I have. Now I know this is a fraction, but still that is, an, that is your, what's equal to y. So I write 1 half is 2x, which is 4, is equal to this value of y, which we do not know, is equal to 5. Now I need to apply the cross product. All right, and to apply the cross product, we got to make sure we know how to multiply a whole number times a fraction. Well, if I had a whole number times a fraction, or I'm sorry, a fraction times a fraction, you just multiply across. 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 4 is 8. So if I have a whole number times a, a half fraction times a whole number, I just need to rewrite it as a fraction and multiply across, which would be 5 halves. So 1 half times 5 is 5 halves is equal to 4y. Now, to solve for y, I need to divide by 4, right? But when you're dealing with a fraction divided by a whole number, that can kind of get confusing. So I want to think about, well, what is the same thing as instead of dividing by 4, what other operation could we use that might be a little bit more um, understandable? And one thing I want you guys to understand is if I had 4 divided by 2, that equals 2. Well, 4 times 1 half is also equal to 2. And the difference is, well, I'm sorry. The difference is, here's the whole number. These are reciprocals of each other. So instead of dividing by 4, I can just multiply by 4. Where you see the 4 is in the denominator, so really it's like the division. But what's nice about this is when I multiply by the reciprocal over here, I have a fraction times a fraction, which is much easier to kind of understand than taking a fraction dividing by a whole number. So then I simply go ahead and um, multiply across. So I have 5 over 8 is equal to any whole number times its reciprocal is equal to 1. So I have 5 eighths is equal to y. Thanks.